It's for me, as President of the Academy of Sciences of Lisbon, an honor and a pleasure to receive among us the delegates of all countries, members of ALEA that could be with us. Today's topic is a very broad topic indeed. Science and research in Europe, past, present and future. However, together with our colleagues here in Lisbon, we found that it is the right time and the right place to reflect on the state of affairs for doing science and research in Europe, 15 years after the Lisbon Agenda was formulated, thus the subtitle of our symposium. Our goal is scientific excellence. Only through scientific excellence we will be able to better compete internationally in the whole research and innovation cycle. We need to, to have more effective national systems to promote uh, even more transnational cooperation and further knowledge circulation to foster an open labor market for research. Because this is a task that gives a reason for Europe and the European Union to go on and to be able to overcome its own devils. All together we are part of a common family and it's very clear that what happens in Europe has a direct effect today's science but has also a very important effect on the future of science and the future generation and they count on us. If Europe doesn't have its own standards it will be conquered easily by those who have their standards or impose their de facto standards. But now more than ever we need that the five key priorities contained in the 2012 Commission communications are reinforced European Research Area Partnership for Excellence and Growth become reality sooner rather than later. At the end of the day, we can act on a global scale as a group of 28 member states. And so there is no future without education and of course there is no future without research, innovation and, and knowledge transfer. Open innovation, open education. Um, I think science and research in Europe is not a level playing field. That we are still here, that we still believe that it is possible to do great science and having fun. So in my case I'm uh, working with the grapevine, so I'm conducting a market-driven research. Investing in researchers is a good investment because nobody more than us wants to be successful. In my eyes, Professor Dame Helen Wallace has forged a career that is equally ahead of her time. You have helped us understanding the European Union. What you did in your life deserves glory, and that's why we are here tonight. So it's my great honor to award you with this Alea Madame de Stal Prize for cultural values, and thank you for everything you did. Thank you. The European values of solidarity and cohesion, so much propounded as European values, are increasingly hard to turn from the abstract to the concrete, who firmly believe in the importance of continuous connection and debate between the world of research and the world of practice. Thank you all very much.